Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm excited to be reviewing a really interesting shoe. This is a fully recyclable subscription based shoe from On Running. This is the On Cloud Neo. It's part of their Cyclone program. And this is just my first impressions review. But before we get into all the specs and my experience running in it, let's uh, unpack um, kind of what this shoe is all about. So first of all, this is a shoe that you subscribe to. You don't flat out purchase it. Um, so you subscribe to it and eventually you'll send it back. And like I mentioned, this is a fully recyclable shoe. It's made out of castor beans actually. Uh, the midsole has some peabacks in it. And how the subscription program works is after six months, you can send the shoe back and they'll send you a fresh pair that's been recycled from an old pair. And that cycle can continue and continue uh, I did read on the on website that you can request after three months to get a fresh pair which makes sense uh, if you're a high mileage runner this is the only shoe that you wear you're gonna wear them out before six months and I will say that is something that I think on running can tweak in the future is offering different options for the subscription model maybe based on mileage uh, hopefully adding more shoes in the future into this program and I usually mention this at the end of the video, but it's probably important to mention it now, is the price to subscribe to the shoe is 30 US a month or 35 Canadian. So over the course of six months, this is gonna cost you 180 bucks, which puts this shoe at a premium price. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, like I mentioned though, you can request to send this pair back after three months, which makes the shoe seem a lot more affordable in that case. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into my actual review of this shoe. So the Cloud Neo has a stack height of 33 millimeters in the rear, 24 in the forefoot for a heel to toe drop of nine millimeters. My men's size eight and a half weighs in at just under nine ounces or about 250 grams. Upper on the shoe feels very nice, um, very soft feeling, breathes just fine. Um, the, gun, the tongue is fully gusseted. The laces though, I'm not a fan of. They are very, very slippery and have a really hard time staying tied up. Even double knotting them, I still find that they sometimes can come undone. A pretty minor detail, uh, just keep that in mind. You will absolutely have to double knot your laces if you pick up a pair of these. Now as far as fit goes, uh, they fit true to size. Width is pretty average. Um, as, you, as many of you know, On makes awesome uppers and awesome fitting shoes. And this one is no exception, uh, even with it being 100% recyclable. Now we move along to the midsole. On says that this is a Peebacks midsole, which as again, many of you know, that's some of the best midsole material on the market. Like the Zoom X foam is made out of a Peebacks. I will say though that this is easily the firmest Peebacks midsole that I've ever ran in. So the ride of the shoe, it's broken in a little bit over the course of a few runs, but uh, this is a very, very firm ride. Now, if you're familiar with other shoes and ons lineup like the Cloud Flow, I would put the firmness kind of maybe equivalent to a shoe like that, or maybe even slightly firmer. And like almost all of the other on running shoes, this one has a speed board, so it's a full length, um, I don't want to say plastic plate because it's able to be recycled, but a full length uh, stiff plate in here. That's going to help provide a little bit of stability, give it some energy return. I also think it makes the shoe. Uh, just add to the firmness of the ride. Then if we move along to the outsole, um, of course they can't use rubber, being a fully recyclable shoe, but there is this harder clear material kind of from here up and then a little bit on the heel. And this is just gonna add to the durability of the outsole. I have taken this through some corners where there was some wet pavement and I will say it didn't grip the best, but maybe that's as good as you can get without having an actual uh, rubber outsole. Now what are my first impressions after my first few runs? Uh, I would say that I would definitely put this shoe kind of in the performance running category. The Cloud Neo feels very comfy on foot, although I don't think it's going to be my first option when it comes time for an easy run or a recovery run. I think this shoe performs a lot better at faster paces. Also I think for most of us it's going to be best kind of at that half marathon and under. Um, the stack height is only 24 millimeters in the forefoot and it's a firmer feeling midsole. And I just felt, I think I did one longer-ish run in the shoe and I could tell if I took this up to say 20 miles, I think my 
feet, especially kind of more in the forefoot section, would start to get a little bit tired. So for myself, I think I'm going to keep this shoe mostly to 21K and under and kind of just use it for steady runs. I'll also try doing a couple of workouts in it just so I can see how it performs at faster paces. One run I did take it through a couple of strides kind of down to 320 to 330 per kilometer and the sh it felt really nice at those paces. Uh, another thing to mention is the shoe has a bit of a rocker geometry to it and it does feel quite peppy at toe off and it's definitely one of the more uh, performance based on running shoes that's out there. Now as far as my pair goes and my subscription, um, I'll probably run it out to six months. That's probably how long it'll take me to wear out this shoe just because I have so many in my rotation. But I will say this is probably a shoe that I'm not likely to continue with the whole subscription thing. I'll probably send my pair back in and then be done with it. I like the idea of the whole fully recyclable shoe and the subscription model. Um, in my case, I just have so many shoes that I run in and need to review. Um, not sure I can justify it and also there are quite a few shoes that I would take over this one. Um, even just as far as on running goes, I think the Cloud Surfer is a much nicer shoe than this. But if you're someone who really wants to support uh, the whole Cyclone program and having a recyclable shoe, and you like a firm ride, you're looking for something to fill that performance shoe in your running rotation, then uh, yeah, I think the shoe could be right up your alley. So anyways, that's my first impressions review. I'll be sure to do a full review after one or 200 miles. Uh, and like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.